how are IITs pushing to break language barriers with AI and mother tongue learning? For decades now, English has been the main language for higher education in India. But for many students, it's not their first language. That's now starting to change. The premier engineering institute in India, IITs, are leading the shift. They are including Indian languages into classrooms powered by smart technology and bold ideas. The goal is to make education more inclusive, accessible and effective. The move follows a push by Union Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan during the 56th IIT Council meeting held this August. He had urged the IITs to promote Indian languages by introducing regional languages alongside English as medium of instruction. The idea aligns with the National Education Policy 2020, which supports using Indian languages as mediums of instructions to boost conceptual understanding. At the front of this movement is IIT Madras now. They have developed a live speech-to-speech -speech translation tool. It can turn English lectures into 11 Indian languages like Tamil, Hindi, Telugu, Kannada and more, and almost instantly. And it does not just translate word, it keeps the speaker's tone, pace and emotions intact. That way students get a natural and engaging learning experience. This matters because many students begin school in their mother tongue. And when they switch to English in colleges, they struggle to keep up. IIT Madras director V. Kamakoti says, students often hold back in class because of language gap that can hurt confidence and learning. And to fix this, the institute is now targeting first-year students. They plan to translate all first-year lectures and make them available online on YouTube and cloud drives in multiple Indian languages. After the successful trial run, they are now preparing for a full launch next academic year. Even Union Minister Dharmendra Pradhan has seen the tool in action. IIT Kharagpur is also experimenting with language in a new way. They are planning to offer professional courses in Bengali to begin with. These won't be the regular P.Tech courses and instead they are practical, industry-oriented programs in areas like data science and artificial intelligence. The courses will be offered online and in hybrid model with recorded and live sessions where students can choose what works for them a certificate, a diploma, or a full degree. It's a part of flexible multiple exit and multiple entry system under the National Education Policy 2020. The idea is to reach more learners, especially working professionals, who want to upgrade their skills in their own language. IT Kharagpur Director Suman Chakraborty says that delivery must be culturally and linguistically sensitive. That's how lifelong learning becomes truly inclusive. At IIT Jodhpur, there is a different way of including Indian languages. It has become the first IIT to launch a parallel section where BTEC students are taught in Hindi last year. First year students can choose whether to study in Hindi or English. The same faculty teach both the sections. The syllabus, exam, lab, everything is identical. Technical terms stays in English, but students can take exam in the language they are most comfortable with. In the first year, 116 students have opted for the Hindi section. According to the institute, the results were encouraging. Students were more engaged, more confident and performed just as well as their English medium peers. Some even switched to English section by the end of the year after they become confident in the language. To support this transition, all first-year students take a communication course to strengthen their English communicative skills. From second year onwards, everyone continues in English but with a stronger foundation and better confidence. So with AI tools, flexible course formats and bilingual learning, the IITs are proving that world-class education doesn't have to come in just one language. It can come in many and it can teach many more. Now it is yet to be seen how other IITs are taking this initiative forward. That's all from me for now. Keep watching the print for more news updates.